Okay, everybody, let's get started. Um, my name is Ross. I'm here with Church Windows, and today we're going to be working on um, running a report showing people who have not attended and have not uh, donated um, in a particular time frame. Um, it's a good report to give you an idea of who actually is an active um, member and in, in your church and everything and uh, this report allows you to then contact them or you know remove them from the uh, database if you need to um, the best place to do this particular report is within membership so I'm going to click on that and then go into reports reports directory export this is the main screen where we do our reports um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, when you when we're doing you know reports of no attendance and no donations um, you know the first thing we want to do is tell the system to not include anybody who um, has not attended or to not include anybody who has attended um, on the actual report itself. So um, to do any attendance selections, you in the top left here where it says select a membership field, you'll click on the little drop down arrow and the very first line is uh, what we're looking for which is attendance. So you'll select that and then make your selections. So in this you know sample data here I'm just going to select all three, so you know, contemporary worship, evening worship, and Sunday a.m. worship. Um, and then down here at the bottom is where you put in the date range. So say you want to know who didn't attend in the last quarter of last year. Um, so then what you do is down here at the bottom where the date range is, you just type in the date range you want. So in the, my case, I'm putting September 1st, 2016 and the you know basically the from and then the to date I'm going to put 12 31 2016 so that's going to only look at attendance dates um, but in that three month period and then the times attended below that um, I'm going to put zero to zero so the only people that actually show up on this list are going to be people who have um, not attended in that time frame. So I click OK. So then after you click OK, you get your little criteria. So it says, you know, attended any event and they attended, you know, uh, and the attendance date is between September 1st to December 31st. They attended zero to zero times. And then you click the plus selection. Um, and a, another thing you, um, so that after I click that plus selection, that has officially been added to our search criteria. Um, the other thing that you typically want to add to this report is you only want to look at, um, I mean I, every church is different, but typically um, we only want to look at adults because uh, kids will um, not a, attend as much or they may not get recorded as consistently um, so if we want to only look at adults in our database we have to add a second line of criteria so I'm going to click the and button here to the right and then go back up to the drop down at the top there and I'm going to do a search for directory report order. So I'm just going to type in DIR and then it pops up here. So the directory report order is you know, a, a way to group and um, sort people um, and tell the program you know, what kind of person um, you know, that record is. Um, so I'm going to select child with family and then the not checkbox here. So this is telling the system um, to essentially not include 
children in these search results. And I click plus selection and that is now added to our search criteria. Um, so now we're telling it we I only want people who have not attended in the last three months of last year and they are not a child. That and basically means they have to fit both of the criteria um, that I have created in order to show up on the actual report. Um, and then now let's uh, over here on the right there is the include section. Um, if you don't want visitors on your list um, when you run the report you want to just uncheck visitors there so the only thing you have checked is members so the only people that will show up on the report would be people entered in the member side of the database not the visitors um, so that's the attendance criteria sorted now if you want to uh, also include or you, you want to add the additional criteria of if they haven't given in that particular time frame as well you have to go up here to the giving slash pledging tab up here in the top left corner and click on that and this tab um, gives you the um, flexibility to choose um, what kind of giving that person gave or if you don't if you don't care about if they gave or not um, when you run your reports you ba you don't have to go to this tab it will just automatically select anybody regardless of giving or pledging but in this case since we want to know people who did not give in that time frame we do go to this tab and then up here in the top left corner in the giving include section this last radial button we want to choose choose that and that's the only those who did not give option um, so that's the only people that show up on the report now are going to also be people who did not give as well as not attend um, the pledging includes section down here at the bottom and the receive statement and gives with family options up here in the top right um, we can typically just leave those as is since um, the only thing we're looking for is um, specifically giving um, on the right side here we have to um, adjust the donations date range to the particular time frame we're wanting um, so you can do that by just typing in the date you want but you can or you can also click the little drop down arrow to get the calendar to pop up and if you want to go back to 2016 January 1st you can just click the little left arrow button to the right of January and it has now gone back to September and then we click on the first here so now you can see I have selected September 1st 2016 I'll click on the drop down again and if I want to go back a year at a time instead of a month at a time I can click the little left arrow to the left of uh, the 2017 year and that takes me back to 2016 click on the 31 it is now looking at um, September 1st 2016 to 12 31st 2016 um, the next tab is the accounts tab um, if you want to specifically look at people who did not give to say the general fund or the building fund that sort of thing you can add those from the left to the right by double clicking on them so it's only going to care about if people did not give to the general fund um, typically you can just not bother with this tab unless you're looking for specific accounts um, because it's going to automatically look at all of your different donations accounts and then if I go to the sort tab the last tab on the list um, it's going to sort by last name alphabetically you want to sort it by something else you can 
click on the drop down and if you want to sort by uh, giver number instead you can select that um, I typically just sort by um, sort by name last first alphabetical alright so we have all our criteria set up on all the different tabs and um, you know since this is has a you know a few different steps in it um, and this might be a report you run every year or every quarter um, you can save this criteria so you don't have to type everything in again um, by going down here to the bottom of the screen and clicking the little floppy disk button down here at the bottom and and that will you know, allow you to save a selection as. I'm just going to call this no attendance and no giving and click OK. So this, so all our criteria and everything is saved to allow us to um, run it again um, in a couple months without having to um, enter in everything. So after we have all our criteria selected, we can then click the next button. Okay. So everybody in this list that showed up are people that have not given and not attended in the time frame we selected. Um, I'm going to um, I have basic selected up here in the top left and the default layout under basic is the basic commoner report. Um, this report just shows name, address, and phone number. Um, I'm going to click print now and show you that. All right. So this report um, it, everybody listed in this particular report are people that have not given, or have not attended in that three month period, and there, it's also only showing adults. It's not showing any kids in the list. Um, if I scroll down to the bottom of the report, there is the kind of the criteria report information section. So this section down here, um, it'll tell you. Um, the criteria, uh, so it has the date range, um, and whether or not they attended, and also you know, the direct reporter is not a child. And it also gives you the count if you just need a head count. So we know we ha we know, 59 people did not attend or give and were adults in that particular time frame. Um, and if you need, um, so that's how that's essentially the basics on how to run that report. If you come back in um, a couple months and you need to run the report for a whole year, or you need to um, edit the date range for that particular report, um, with our saved criteria, we can do that quicker than re-entering everything. Um, so I have closed out of the report screen. I'm going to go back into it. Reports, reports directory, export. And say we want to run it for the entirety of um, 2014 for some reason. Like we need to know everybody who did not attend and did not give in 2014. Um, instead of re entering everything, we can just go down here to the bottom under save selections and click that particular um, but click that particular um, save selection we made um, we do have to make a couple changes to it because it's still going to be looking specifically at 2016 uh, that particular date range we selected so what we're going to do is um, with that attended any event line selected we're going to click remove line 
to remove that particular part of the search criteria and add it with our correct date range. So I'm going to I'm going to type that in real quick. 31 2014 10 to 0 to 0. And I'm going to click OK. And then plus selection. And then you can see after I add it, the the and is now no longer between the two uh, different criteria. So I'm going to, to add, in order for the report to actually run properly, the ands will have to be between it. So I'm going to click on the little drop down arrow and now you can see the and is now between the two um, different criteria like it should be and then I'm going to go to the and so you can see members is the only thing checked it's sorting by the proper um, way I want it sorted um, if I go to the giving pledging tab um, I just have to now change the date range here. It knows I only I want only those who did not give. So over here under donations date range, I can quickly go back to 2014, the entire date range, by clicking this minus year button right here. Um, clicking that is going to allow me to just go back to 2014 and three mouse clicks instead of having to type in the date range for both fields so that saves some time as well and then if I click next it's going to ask me if I want to save changes to the save selection um, you might as well because um, you're going to just have to change it uh, again the next time you run the uh, report for a different date range so then I have my list of people it's a slightly smaller list I have basic selected again and if I click print you can see our search criteria down here at the bottom with our count so it's showing people that did not attend in 2014 and they did not give in the entirety of 2014 and you have their contact info at the top there and that is essentially um, the you know no attendance no giving report um, do you guys have any uh, questions or um, issues with this or you have any questions about it um, this particular webinar has been recorded and it will be put up on our website here within the next um, several days. Um, if it doesn't get put up tonight or today, it will be put up sometime next week. Um, so you guys will be able to go to our website and watch it again if you came in late or if you want just a refresher. Um, close that off. Close that of that. Okay, I'm not seeing any uh, questions popping in here yet. Um, I'll give it another minute or so, just in case. Um, and hopefully this uh, particular webinar has been helpful. We have, uh, I think, maybe about another dozen um, coming up. Um, later this month. Um, Connie, um, yeah, we just now uh, ended, um, um, uh, but this has been recorded and it will be put up on our website here um, uh, within the next week or so. Um, Robin asks if they can do it for a, a, a larger date range. Absolutely. Um, it's basically the uh, same process. Let me get in here real quick. And um, no attendance, no giving. 
um, so what you can um, you can uh, put in whatever date range you want so just here so if you want it to you know anybody who has not attended in the past three years um, you know I want I want 2014 to and then you can just if you click the drop down and select today it'll automatically fill in today's date and you do zero to zero click plus selection and then giving pledging, you can do the same thing. So 0101, 2000, or whoops, 014. And it's going to, um, yeah, only, so I don't have anybody who fits that criteria, but yes, that's how you put in whatever uh, date range you want um, in that case. Um, Cheryl asked if you can put a title on the report. You can. Um, let me find one. So if you click the the new button and let me just name it test. It requires a little bit of editing of the actual report designer itself. You click OK. I'm going to click this edit button um, right here, and that's going to open up the report designer. So this uh, basically is a template that where where you can make your changes and everything. If you want the um, report to say, you know, people who have not attended or or something like that. Um, you can add what's called a label over here on the right um, is the is the, the label field you want to click that and drag it over and put it in the report footer s or report header section so you put that in there and then this is the field where you actually type in what you want it to say um, so you can put in so if I click on it so it's highlighted and then kind of in the uh, top right corner there's this little arrow button you click that and this is where you can change the text of what that report says um, so I can call it like you know like maybe no attendance and no giving people click that and click out and then you can see it it's what it, how it says there and if I click save and close out oh, if I, uh, I don't have anybody who fits the criteria one second all right so I have still have that particular layout I created test test that I had created that uh, particular title to. So if I click the print button, you can see at the top there I have that title I created that no attendance and no giving people is there. And it's only going to show up on this particular layout we created. If we go back to basic, uh, the basic columnar report instead of test test, you can see that that particular title is no longer there. So that's how you put a, a title on the report if that's something you want to do. Okay. Um, looks like we are I've run a little long here. Um, um, if you guys have any uh, further questions, you can always... Um, give us a call at 1-800-533-5227 um, or uh, email us at support at churchwindows.com um, Oh, I have one more question pop in. 
any report templates. See, I'm not. Um, Leah, if I understand it correctly, you can you can set up multiple search criteria there that would just I guess one would be specifically specifically asked for members, one for non members, and you could do the same on the uh um uh, the report section or the the print side you can have it specifically give it a title of members or non members. Um if that's not exactly what you're looking for, give us a call and um might be easier to answer that over the phone. Um, um, other than that, I don't see any other questions popping in. Um, hopefully this was informative, and you guys have a good rest of your day and a good weekend. Thanks, and bye-bye.